Salisbury Cathedral, one of the most important cathedrals in the country. This place has the distinction of having the tallest church spire in the country. But that's not the only thing that's special about this cathedral, which I highly recommend that you go and visit. The cathedral is one of the most important in the country for several reasons. Number one, it used to be one of the more important churches in the south of England. And number two, it's home to the Magna Carta, one of the most important documents in English history that defines the roles of the royal family in relation to the lords. But it's currently not open. As you can imagine, it's half six in the morning, it's not open. But it is open if you are a worshipper, if you are a Christian. Apparently the services start from about half seven. And then the actual cathedral itself is open from about 9 a.m. So, uh... But you know what? I decided to hell with it. I'm sneaking in. So, to get into the cathedral, you need to go around the side of the building. And once you do that, you quickly realize how they lived back in the day. Because largely, everything is kind of the same. So these lovely cloisters here, imagine monks walking around this before their morning prayer. And when you get inside, the place is absolutely staggering. You know guys, I never really tire of visiting cathedrals and stuff, but most of the time the way you get in for free is if you come in during morning prayer. Now morning prayer generally only happens in one of the corners, and if you generally stay out of the way, I'm pretty sure they'll be okay with that. This is a cool place. So I actually decided to wait until morning service was over and all the parishioners cleared out before I had the entire place to myself. Now, when you come in here, it is very ethereal, as most cathedrals are, but this place in particular. You get some great photo opportunities, especially in front of that water fountain slash font that we walked past. But yeah, this place is actually kind of cool. It's very similar to some of the other cathedrals that I've been to that are built in the Gothic style, AKA they're all in the shape of a crucifix. And Salisbury Cathedral isn't that much different. However, what's cool about this place is that it's obviously a working cathedral, which makes it great. And secondly, you can even see and smell the history in this place. The Magna Carta is housed in a different area of the cathedral. And obviously because it's not officially open, I can't access that. So I've kind of made do with having a look at things like the ceiling, the choir, which is very ornate, and staring a lot at the stained glass windows, which is actually really, really interesting. I'm sure if I went on a guided tour, I'd know everything about all the historical significances of these statues and all of these windows, but obviously, as you know, I've snuck in here, hence why the place is completely empty, and yeah, I didn't get to learn any of that. But if you do pay for the price of admission, I'm sure you'll find that out. Overall guys, Salisbury Cathedral is a pretty cool place, but whilst you're here, you might as well walk out of the grounds and explore the town of Salisbury itself. Now, I'm not going to lie, Salisbury is a pretty small town. You can pretty much circumnavigate the entire place in about 10 minutes, but have a look at the architecture and all of the shops around there because this is a pretty much old, old town with the old, old buildings intact. So that's kind of cool to see. But overall guys, I highly recommend that you come here once in your life. Okay Nin, I'm sold. What do I do? Well, you need to come here to Salisbury Cathedral. Salisbury Cathedral is located right in the middle of a major town called Salisbury, which is very easily accessible via motorways and A roads and public transport, just in case you're not driving. The cost to do it? Well, I honestly have no idea, mainly because I snuck in. Now, I'll print the cost of going to the cathedral on the screen. However, if you are a worshipper, you get to go in for free anyway, so long as you're praying. Is there anything else I need to know? 
Yes, as previously mentioned, the Magna Carta, if you did want to see that, is housed in a completely separate part of the cathedral, of which was not open when I looked, but it's actually worth looking at if you do go there. If you have found this video at all helpful, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. Comment on the comment section below, and if you do have any other bucket list ideas, tweet them at me, and if I get enough suggestions, I will go ahead and do that. So guys, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Yeah, this is actually kind of cool, and be sure to check out the rest of Salisbury whilst you're here. It's a quaint little market town, I gotta admit. I've not seen stuff like this for a while because I live in the glorious north of England where everything's pretty industrialized. But this is actually quite quaint. It's interesting to know how um, people in historic towns actually live. It's, it's significantly different to how we live up there in the north of England.